Behold! The champion of the Cast Rangers! Our one and only patron! The one who will inherit all of the Cast Fans' powers! Behold, for his name is Spellcaster Blaze! I've got a feeling this will work out. <laughs> Someone posted the fucking song from the soundtrack today and I had to use it somewhere. I've got a feeling we're gonna cue the roll call. <laughs> you are the roll call! We are live! Mike! Kaigan! Connect! Loading! Broadcast! Tempered Zeal! Bluecaster! Super EG! Loud and impulsive! Pinkcaster, Lane! One little spark of courage! Dreamcaster, Global South Perka! Shining through the night, Spellcaster, Lane! Broadcasting hundreds of opinions across the world! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. On air! Listen to your <laughs> king. I love how Lane is just like, oh, I don't know what's happening. Is that is that the kind of face you make when I'm over when I'm the face I make when I'm sitting just over there? <laughs> <laughs> something, something suddenly happens and then I'm just very confused. Is that going, just the scene where something people suddenly came up? It's the I don't scene. know the face you're talking about. Are we gonna have a new Lane face to make memes with? Oh my! No, it's it's kind of the same face from the Toma image, just with his mouth closed. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm not gonna post it though. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry, I'm not gonna post. It. I was uh, just kind of. The best one was when Emily just was like was like. <laughs> what? What? It's it's some, like angrily confused look on her. Sometimes face. it's a shame that we're not video. Okay. Anyway. Anyway, EY, welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger episode 247. Okay, Google, what's Pokemon number 247? Pupitar, 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 episode Pupitar. On the website Bulbapedia.bulbagarden.net, they say, Pupitar is a dual-type say... rock ground Pokemon introduced in Generation 2. It they... evolves from Larvitar. They say it's Pupitar, but I'm not sure. Starting at level 55. Okay, Google, shut up. <laughs> That's spoilers, Google. I love she says, like, it level, evolves at level 55. We didn't need its fucking life story, just the name. Yeah, see, Blaze, you might just say the name of the Pokemon, but Google actually gives us the entire fucking description. Helpful of tips. Helpful. Oh, excuse me, do you want me to come on every episode and just fucking, like, read out the entire Pokedex entry? I don't want you to come on anything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, Ichi, where's my tier list? Remember I said that you got your. I asked you to make that list? I've had a really game. bad week, okay? That's fair. Uh -huh. Okay, well, keep working on it, please. I want that. <laughs> I'm sorry. So this week we are on episode 38 of Z.O. We're on episode 12 of Reef Soldier. And for our future topic this week, we are talking about the miniseries Common Rider Brain. And oh my god. It was awesome. So it was awesome. good. It was so good. Yeah. The perfect balance I, of silly and serious. I was a little bit disappointed with how short it was. Like, I didn't, like, I, yeah. I, was, I was just so, I was so engrossed into it. And right? then just first Wait, part wait. ended and I was like. Uh, Is that all of it? There's only the two episodes. Only yeah. two episodes. That's it. This, that's it. Doesn't. The, that's the end. That's it. Well, it, there could be more we, after it, that, but that's the end of the brain yeah. special. It might come back in the. No, we'll, we'll get to it. If they do the drive arc, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. But for now. Oh, it's a big red rock coming down from outer space. Oh, that's bad. I gotta oh, say, it's very bad. Th this episode, this episode zero was actually pretty good. I, I enjoyed it. I mean, oh, the, a lot of shit happened. The, and I actually liked it. The only thing I can really complain about is we're getting all these new Waz Ginga forms, and they're kind of being undercut by everything else happening around it. Trust me, I think Waz will have like his other big time to shine. So. Also, how did Waz know about the sun form? He hadn't used it yet. Because he scrolled through the wheel and saw it. Yeah, he bought the toy. Can he read backwards? Sure. 
backwards. Because it have because unless he was like messing around in the middle of the night while they're listening to it, listening to the Tayo, he has to read the he has to scroll through it and read the face backwards. You know, you know what's funny about that face on the Rye Watch specifically? If you look at it on the toy. When the face is backwards, if you look real close, the, the, the letters on the Tayo face look like they spell the word derp in English. <laughs> I swear to God, look at it right now and tell me it doesn't say derp. Okay. I'll, I'll look it? for it right now. It's in my room. So, Someone pull up an image. So let, let's talk about the biggest thing about this episode, where Rock. apparently fucking Soup is Schwartz's sister. I was expecting that. I was not I... expecting that. Yeah. So does that I mean... wasn't expecting that, but it makes sense. I, oh gosh, this just reminds I knew me. some shit was going to happen, but I couldn't fi- predict exactly. that specifically. Yeah, I, thought, I thought she was like his daughter or so, something. No, 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 because she said her mother and father and someone else was there. Yeah. But, so does this mean we now have to start calling Swartz Salad? Yes. Oh, no. Salad and Soup. The Soup and Salad siblings? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> she <laughs> Soup Okay, I know this is literally out of nowhere, but like... Oh, and still, he lies awake at night wondering about the soup that got away. Like, got okay, you know, I know this is going to be really out of left field for me, but I don't know why, but I've just been finding, like, super attractive lately. Yeah, you mentioned last week how you were into her legs. Yeah. I mean, I personally miss pin Sogo to the table soup. That oh, yeah, Emily, Emily started, uh, made some drawings of soup, and they're really fucking adorable. Look at that. Nice. She's, making, she's making drawings of, like, soup and Sogo and Gates, and it's adorable. Lane, don't, Lane, <laughs> don't fuck the soup, it's too hot. Yeah, we have to cool down first. Ryder Custom says to call him Sandy. Gates is Sogo! <laughs> That's it. I was going to do also a terrible Waz, and then I... I, I would I love to see, see your version of Waz. Yes, please do, please do an Emily version of Waz. I think I, if Just I him have doing the EYA pose. <laughs> <laughs> I better have a sketch Oh yeah, so now we're up to a whopping 92 Wagamos. He was cool. very generous with Wagamos. Oh, we will absolutely hit 100 in the next two episodes, I bet you. I do have one. I hope someone makes a compilation just every single time. It does say derp. <laughs> I want, I want a compilation of all the EYs. That'll be epic. I'd rewatch the shit out of that. <laughs> their just, dad just, is Mac and their mom is cheese. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Here we go. Um, so anyways. Uh, I, yeah. I, lo- I love that the start of the episode is Sogo in space looking at the big red meteor about to destroy the Earth. And Waz calls him up and goes, We don't have time to deal with the meteor. I am you from the okay. future. There's no time to explain. Come back down so, so we can rethink this shit. So I love this. So I love that like they have to hand over the Forzy watch and the the Ginga wa- Milai watch to uh, Kagiyama because it's like oh if you don't like that, those watches ki- change hands like four times over the episode. No, but I I have to say it was fucking awesome when just like they you know they try fighting which look there's the image of Ta- Tayo face. It's, it's, it's it says derp. derp. It says derp. <laughs> um, but no. So again, <laughs> Gatak henshins. He does cast off. It does crash. And it does off. the wrong cast off. And then it does. And then it also does the wrong clock up too. But then when he henshins the second time, it does the correct cast off. Yeah, but then when he goes clock up, it goes clock up, and I'm like, mm. what's with these fucking inconsistencies? Uh, fucking stupid though. How it's do you get foreshadowing. The... You... No. It has so, made me want to watch Kaguto, though. I will say, this episode, Wool was a fucking badass. Because I love that just, like, Kageyama and Yagama, like, they're eating their ramen like they always fucking do together. Because, like... <laughs> That's cute. I'm taking these back. Well, Bye! Well, because I like that the figure arts of them actually come with, like, ramen. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but just Wool, just, like... Like this awesome shot of just him standing with like an umbrella. It, over it's him. a parallel to Kabuto yeah, because then, of that one episode they fought clocked up in the rain. Yeah, and then so he freezes the rain, like freezes time, just grabs watch, and he's just like, no, fuck you guys, like you're not destroying the fucking earth. That's just like you're you're that's <laughs> lol no. Yeah, no. That's so cute. Goes over, Bye. To Schwar- goes over to Schwartz and is like, yo, we should give these back to Waz or whatever like that. Waz and so go and Schwartz just yanks them out of his hand. And, yeah, no, fuck you. And here's the weird part, like Wool wants to give them immediately back to Sogo and Waz, but Swartz apparently chooses to give them to Soup, who's going to do the same thing. So what the fuck was the point of that? I think that he might have had something else to do, he wanted to do, but then he just, like, because because Soup found out that 
her, like the secret. He was like, oh, fuck, that kind of ruins everything. And then I love it, like, just Sukasa, like, they go visit. Just take it and go. So they go visit or whatever like that, and then, like, Sukasa's, like, in a in a disguise or whatever like that. Because whenever he changes worlds, he gets a costume with Yeah, it. so he's the chef of the household, and, like, I'm actually was sad we didn't get to see him cook anything. He's a zero-budget cosplayer. Yeah. So, I was wait, wait wondering... is... Sorry, go ahead, please. Sir. Yeah, I'm going to go first. Are you sure? Yep. Yeah, I was right. just going to say, I was wondering why the heck he was a show. The two and the Yeah. Middle. Yeah, the, so, it makes me wonder. Is, is he going, is, are they in the, are, like, the world of the past thing? Are they just in, like, a completely different world? Because if of this soup. is the timeline, he shouldn't be a chef. He's in World of Soup. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> but, but, yeah, the thing with Decade and his clothes is... House of those, Chef Boyardee. For those we can freeze time with soup! <laughs> We can use it for a soup! Uh, for those who didn't watch Decade, the deal with uh, Tsukasa and his clothes is every time he changed worlds, he would automatically be changed into a costume that lets him blend in. Yeah, because he's not from that world, so he has to have a role. So. Yeah. Yeah, so that was always interesting. Uh, but then they go back, whatever, like that, and then just like Tsukasa's just like. He's like, huh. Alright, I get what I understand what's fucking going on here now. Do you? Cause I fucking don't. I really hope we see him be decade like one more time. Cause like for the past like two, three times he's shown up now since like we first saw him. I'm just like, no, transform to decade, damn it, I want to see you transform to drive. Oh, oh that's awesome. Adorable. That's, so cute. that's great. <laughs> you you should draw the book in his other hand. Yeah, I, I just realized like, that he has no other hand, so <laughs> there's a problem here. Give me a hand, folks! <laughs> For a second, I felt the scarf was his other hand. <laughs> and he's just strangling himself. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh, you, I would like to see Tsukasa eventually turn into another decade. No, he... Gar actually made an interesting mention. He is another decade because he's, no. he's Neo Decade. He has the new driver. That doesn't count. Yes, it does. No, no. he's got no. No, Zio is another decade because it's been another decade. But we've all but we've had another Zio. <laughs> yeah, so it's you, so another Zio is another Fuck another decade. Fuck all of you. <laughs> yeah, good job, ladies. <laughs> no, you're wrong. No. Objectively. Nope. He's, he's You're wrong and you should feel wrong. Anyway, my favorite thing in this episode is Yaguma fucking Jack Sparrow sauntering his way through the river at the start of the episode. Dear God, you're right. Why, so, is, my, he, why is my brother always dead? Yeah, he's like, no, and then we actually go flash back to the reference where, um... When, when he kills when he the original killed, Kageyama. Uh, Kageyama. which, yeah, now we know. He, they both didn't die, it was just Kageyama. So, Why I mean, is my brother was, always dead? It's heavily implied minute. that he died also because we never saw him again after that episode. Also, I, I forgot the I forgot the mention when uh, like in the last episode as well. Like I liked when they like uh, before they went to the intro for the show or like that. Yeah, they like, started up the like, Kabuto da, da, opening, da, 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 and I'm just expecting like the rest of the song to go, and it doesn't. I'm like, oh, you cock teasing fuckwads. That no, would have been like, really cool if they if for each arc they did have they had uh, the singers of the Zio theme sing the um, yeah. that. Yeah, that no. Writing stuff. This is how this show should have been the whole fucking time. It just should have shown like every fucking transition into like the episode. Right? Like, and look, there's the another decade ride watch or. Yeah, like when decade, like, like when decade, like that showed badass. up, like when decade showed up in like the last like episode of Zeal or something like that. I should have just ended with like the decade driver just going like, Broom! just like closing or whatever. So that would have been cool. Oh wait, I remember what I was gonna say. I know why Punch Hopper's always dead. He's brown. You wanna know what the other writer who's brown is? Scissors. <laughs> Punch Hopper is new scissors confirmed. I mean, at least he lasted longer. I like Punch Hopper. Um, so let's talk about the thing that really confused me the most in the episode. Gates having a normal ass phone, which somehow has yeah. the standby chime from Revive yeah. on it. Yeah, how the fuck did you get that? Well, That's don't like, you have a normal phone that has um the? Um, yeah, how do you extract a sound from a from a gas trinket? Thing to Does that mean that he had to actually like plug it into the belt and then let it play for yeah, a while? Yeah, just recorded it on his phone. The fucking ride watch has a USB port on it. Oh, and then fucking the uncle's fucking stupid. He's just like, oh, yeah, Zogo's like, in space. Yeah, They'll be hungry. Okay, I'll make all make of the food. Shit ton of onigiri. Just takes a giant bag of fucking rice. I made sixteen each, and they're all just they like, look delicious though. <laughs> no, and what's onigiri. Just, what are you talking about? Donuts. Why they were why they were pained by that? Because okay. it was like 
they have to be like respectful. I was about and, to like, say that's everything. a lot of hamburgers. It's a lot of hamburgers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nothing beats a jelly-filled donut. <laughs> Speaking of Brock, I don't know if we mentioned it, but when we went to Anime North, there actually was a dude cosplaying Brock, and then the the Saturday it rained a lot, and he was in fact he using a frying pan and as a drying pan. No, that was perfect. That is, if, did he? I bet he knew it was going to rain. I mean, yeah. Shout I'll use to, my frying pan as a meteor protection pan. Ooh. Shout out to Anime North 2019 to the guy who cosplayed the the the, the bush. That was the best fucking. The plant. The plant. The scenery. I think I think he was a plant. <laughs> um, anyways. What's the crap? Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. I want that another decade. No. That's badass. Scary. Um, so, yeah. And then, uh, like, Kageyama's just kind of, like, down on himself because he's, like, because he actually, we actually go, he, like, kind of reminisces about when, like, he fought Kabuto, Tendo, that one time and he got his, like, ass severely kicked because Tendo's like, yeah, I know, you'll never be as good as me. What's funny is they never they reference Tendo and allude to him a few times, but they never actually say his name. No, but especially the one part where Sogu's just like he's like, yeah, when I'm king, you can like you can be like one of my protector, like who protects the people, and you just see. Isn't this like the like, third dude actually, he's, tra- he's offered no, that job to? But I this put a smile on my face because I like just kind of seeing Kagami just kind of being like all kind of like just kind of carefree, and he was just like lo- king, chuckling. huh? He was oh, like, no, he was just, you clever yeah, young. He was just chuckling, I, and like he said, he, he like he was like, nah, not even him went that far. Not even Tendo was that stupid. Yeah, I, old, like that pretentious. I, I do Which like is that a real so accomplishment. Far, I do like that so far he's the only one who's actually taken Soga saying he wants to be king seriously. I think Dan kind of... Because he was like, oh, that's no, nice, you Dan can study was like, under I'm me. the only king needed. He would, like refused to accept that he could be king. Well, he, let that him he be denied that he could be. He refused to accept it. He let him be his pet dog. Yeah. <laughs> And then um, Eva let him be her pet cat. That episode was crazy. I forgot about it. All right. Uh, bu- 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 but um, yeah. He like later on the episode, he actually when they're about to they're all about the henshin, he literally says when Soga says, "Come on, let's do this." He's like, "All right, King." Oh my god! I fucking I died. Like I laughed so hard when just we saw like. Freaking was like they transform the Ginga and like um, Forza Armor. Forza Armor. And, and they just like pair off no, and, and he just rock like, into the sky. Like, he just grabs onto the belt. Yeah. And, like he says like his own version of Uchiki Ta or something like that. Yeah. And then like you just see CGI Forza Armor Zio just grab CGI fucking was Ginga and just they just go, like take oh, off oh, like oh, they're oh, about to do a fucking oh, Mario Bros. Oh, I thought was grabbed onto the belt. <laughs> And then I thought it was bullshit when, like, he turns build armor in space. So I'm like, no! No! You should be dead! He's gonna drill I mean, a build te- build he technically has the power of He just drills his armor! He just spins like a rocket! Oh, whatever. I, yeah. I'm yeah. long he past the point. rocket drill states! I'm long past the point of giving a shit at this point. So then, yeah, so they, they end up destroying the meteor because fucking, like, Swartz says to soup, whatever, like that. Oh, if you want, you need to use your power to help them because they won't but, be able to do it by but, themselves. But not before Waz goes Tayo mode. I love it, though. Even the villains of this show don't want the Earth being destroyed by a giant meteor. Well, yeah! Well, because, as, as, as Peter Quill said, they're some of the idiots who live on it. Like... Uh, the show has been this. This show has been filled with a lot of villains who are actual villains, and the time jackers have to go. Oh shit! We should probably stop this. We uh, can't let them destroy the earth. That's where I keep all my shit. So we get. We also get a really awesome fucking like round table handshake. Oh yeah, that was great. Yeah. That was pretty freaking cool. <clears throat> I love that. Well, I, I want to rewatch it right now. Well, don't. You can't tell me what to do. I'll do it just to spite you. It. And disconnected. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so that was really cool to see them all like transform at the same and at the same time. That was really cool. Um, I got one thing I got to say about was Ginga Tayo. It kind of felt undercut, not only because of everything else more exciting happening around it, but also because when he transformed, there was this insert song playing. And I really got upset by that because the chime on Waz Tayo is actually fucking badass. Yeah, no, I, I, I was just, I was trying to focus on that when I was hearing it. Like, is there like Shakunetsu bombing, Geki Atsu fighting, Heyo Tayo, Ginga Tayo? All of Waz's uh, chimes are really, really good. Right? Yep. Watched it. I like, just like chimes in general. Like, it's not my favorite bitch. form of the Ginga Mirai watch, but it's my favorite chime of the Ginga Mirai watch. 
Like sometimes I'm just yeah. sitting in bed and and <coughs> just what comes into my mind is is just bat chiri mero. Oh yeah, that's good. Um, I kind of wish was King Gataya was the one to destroy the meteor because I was totally expecting him to just like go binding sun explosion and just like just blow up the fucking meteor. Yep. I guess that it's Tayo Shishi Red. Uh, Get it right. But but no, we have to shoehorn soup into doing things. Yep. We have to shoehorn soup into things. Gross. Like meals? Um. Yeah. <laughs> so then, so then we end up uh, having Gates and Zio uh, square off against uh, Kageyama and Yagura. I, I got it. Soup is the writer equivalent of KFC meals that come with those annoying side salads that nobody wants. That's not. not good. <laughs> So then, so yeah, so Kagami gets... Soup is great, but I'm calling her soup just because you guys want me to call her soup. So Kagami, Kagami, uh, Kagami, um, like, he gets his ass kicked, his attack, and then, like, the, finally, the greatest moment ever that actually was oh, a pretty awesome payoff. Oh my god. Because it's been a thing since episode one of Kabuto. He, finally, the Kabuto sector accepts him as a user. Yeah. And he Even ever... mentions into Kabuto. And I love it, too, because it was a reference to the first time Tendo does it, where he does, like, the the, the rotating camera while he's tensioning. Yep. Because that was, that was Kabuto's thing in the, in the beginning of the series, but so it always do, except, like, a spin. Except while he's doing it, Gates is also switching fucking uh, revive forms, and I'm like, Gates, get out of the shot! You're ruining this moment! Yeah, but it was fucking I awesome that just finally Kagami got recognized as be worthy of Kabuto. So even as even having never watched Kabuto, I saw that and I was like, oh, that's that's really cool. Yeah, no. It, it, it was of particular significance to us because we started watching Rider with Kabuto back in like yeah, oh, cool. like, see, seeing Kagami just like trying to like summon the Kabuto sector to himself and then just immediately flies towards Tendo and Tendo grabs and he's like, yeah, no, bitch, this is my destiny. Fuck you. And and now and now it looks like he'll probably be uh, Kabuto from now on. Uh, uh, we'll see. Isn't there, the there, is there, is there a really big reason that they're not bringing back Tendo's actor? Because he's a big time fucking because actor. Because Hiro Matsu Mizushima is fucking A list, like and, Takaru Sato and level. Also, according to them, they never asked him to come back. Yeah, I, I guess they think he's heard, so expensive we won't even bother. <laughs> I thought I heard he started his own like his own uh, business or whatever, like his own acting agency. Thing. We, we can we can either yeah, get Tendo so. Sochi or Ryotaro. <laughs> Yeah, uh, like he started his own, he started his own agency, and I then mean, I would have like because of that, like Me too. no other group would let him be in there. So something like now that. If wants to hire him, then they're gonna lose respect oh, of all of their. Oh, he also things. got blacklisted by Toei. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, if you want to see him in something kind of recent, go watch the Beck live action Beck movie. Oh, that movie. That movie's great. great. So good. Um, especially if you're a fan of the yeah. Red Hot Chili, Pe uh, Chili Peppers, they use uh, a couple of their songs in that. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and just like, you know, Kagami's being Kabuto, he's fucking awesome. Um, he even does the counter kick against another Kabuto. Yeah. Oh, yeah, uh, I like that. And then, oh yeah, that was the other thing. When he was also Gatak, when he was doing his rider kick, you just hear rider kick instead of like the Gatak version. And I, yeah. was like, I was like, fuck, why are they, they ruining this? They mixed up all the sounds? But then we get such a heartbreaking thing where like they defeat they defeat both Yagurama and Kageyama and just like Yagurama goes over to Kageyama he's just like he's like call me call me Ivo like I need one more time and like Kageyama's just like Fuck you Fuck you I'm a worm I God was never your mother uh, And now I'm the dead black <laughs> Suck my wormy dick So then yeah and then just Kageyama's no. just like or Yagurama's just like well, just cool. laugh at me, whatever. Cool, thanks. All right, bye. Bye. Just fucks off. <laughs> and I guess they just cool. I'm gonna go jump off this building. And they they, no! they, they, they just let him go because I guess why not? Well, cause he's not doing anything bad, so like whatever. <laughs> and Gates Gate, like whispers like, "I'm sorry," and then I just <laughs> part of me wanted him to turn like, "What did you say? I'm sorry. I didn't think oh. you could repeat that." Also, also, Kagami can't be Kabuto anymore, anyone for that matter, because he transformed into the right watch. Because we like, have to progress like, the plot of no, this show somehow. I saw that happen, I was like, Ugh! No! no! It 
just happened! The ultimate power in the universe! Can you imagine that happening, that happening to you where you finally got your transformation? Like belt sun I waited 13 years oh, for this! Didn't, belt sun's didn't gonna turn into the dry ride watch. They're gonna be like, no! Crap! Oh my god, that might happen. Happened. It also just happened with, with a. Uh, oh my god. Oh yeah, Hideki too. Is Vod gonna fucking just like get belt on and it's just be like, okay, go start your engine. Was featuring Caucasus. That that's ad. that's cool. Oh, that reminds me. Because I especially fucking hate Caucasus. That reminds me. Uh, you were telling me earlier today that I should be avoiding the general chat because some sort of surprise. Yeah, y'all, we'll get there. We're not there yet. Okay. Yeah, it, it's gonna. No, it's gonna yet. be good. Okay. Blaze knows. Well, Blaze knows. I know. It, it, it's funny. It's okay. good. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anyways. Uh, yeah, that actually looks good, even though I fucking hate Caucasus' design, because the side horns are fucking stupid. Caucasus uh, ass. Yes, thank you. And then, so, then what happens is, we just hear the den liner, and I like the attention because you hear Sogo going like, No! Because, you hey, it's it forever, you've seen the den liner. Meanwhile, yeah, me meanwhile... <laughs> I mean, Sogo's going, no, and I'm just going, no! I'm like, yes! It's just... <laughs> I, have PTSD, I have PTSD with that fucking chime because I used it as the ringtone for my work calls for some time. So now every time I hear it, I get flashbacks to getting terrible work calls! How do you think Sogo feels? Whenever he hears it now, he remembers he's not a real boy. Each year, each year like the fucking John Rambo of fucking work calls. <laughs> Just fucking... What? Like, you've never seen Rambo? Uh, once, oh, ever, forever, like, years ago, and I don't remember much of it. Oh, no, that was the newer, newer Rambo movie. No, the original one, he's like the soldier... No, it was the original movie. I saw, like, when we were at Mitch's house. No, that was the re... Oh, the, in the original, he's like, suffering from PTSD. Know. He's suffering from PTSD, and a bunch of cops fucking trigger his PTSD, and then he just goes on a manhunt, killing every cop that tries to hunt him down. Fun. It's a great and yeah, movie. Kaguya Dex is right. Never use songs you like as work as ringtones, because you will end up hating them. I've lost so many songs I've loved to that. I, I'm not going to do that anymore. <laughs> no. God, imagine you fucking use Mass Destruction or something. Oh, God, you. no. That would destroy you. <laughs> There are three stores remaining that you haven't burned to the ground. <laughs> there are three stores that need plumbing. You can just shop <laughs> at four or five stores and yeah. shop at just one. What's crazy? <laughs> so, on the flip side of that, I made something that, that I already hate as my work ringtone. Because my current ringtone for work calls is the standby chime for Kamen Rider Quiz. You already hate it? <laughs> How like dare you? I like that. <laughs> Yeah, you heard it. Yeah, I know. Why do you? Why do you? Why do you hate it? Because I, I, I just ended up not liking quiz as much as I wanted to. I, 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 I don't like quizzes henshin in the in, with his own belt, but I really like the ride watch, which is why it's the only other ride watch I own. I just have it for completion's sake. The standby well chime for Go-Go yeah. is just too cool to hate. Uh, anyway, so yeah, so next week we're getting uh, the Den Deno arc, and I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, seeing the uncle being possessed by fucking Ryotaro, so that's gonna be terrifying. That's I'm that's, that's, excited. that's fucking nightmare fuel. Seeing, I'm excited. Seeing for that. Gates get possessed by Momotaro, so I feel like he's gonna be no different. No, that reminds no, me. No, that that no, reminds me no. when fucking uh, Godai and. Uh, Oh my god! Yeah, Dekku Gud. Godai is a oh god. Oh, he's serving all <laughs> four of them. Feeding all. The Don't boys. worry, uncle. He's they're taking, just furries. He's taking Naomi's job. You know, also, gonna... Momo possessing Gates means that Gates will have a fucking personality. <laughs> Uncle, I, don't worry. They're not monsters. They're just furries. I mentioned it. <laughs> I mentioned an extra, but since like I have like this huge like attraction to soup, I just wanna I wanna see Urtaro's possessor. So that'd be fucking hot. Yeah, weirdly. She, she did. He did it to Natsumi. I was gonna say we like, proved Natsumi. <sighs> Urtaro's makes a. Lane wants to slurp that or, or, soup. Or, 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 no. <laughs> The soup. Oh, I guess you could say that. Uh, I guess you could say that soup is fucking hot. <laughs> Wait for it to cool down. Oh God, I hey, hey, Google, terrible, can you can you play it? this uh, a soup sound? Oh, it didn't hear me. Whatever. Hey, okay, can Google. Play a soup sound. Play what? a soup sound. <laughs> okay, here's a YouTube music playlist called Dance EDM. Countdown. No. Okay, Google, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Google, Google stop! stop. <laughs> Lexa, play Tigger Tigger. You want to hear a station? <laughs> Anyways, uh, get boom! <laughs> <laughs>
Ryu so cool. It's the problem. It, that's the problem with fucking these Google and Alexa devices. You say something, and then sometimes they'll just think you said an entirely different thing, and then play not what you want. That's why I don't like asking music uh, it music because then it plays not the song I want, but a version, different version of it. It bothers me every time. Here's the live concert version. Here's, Fuck. Here's here's the incredible d- remix, and I'm like, no. What was it playing? What, what are it, it was about to play a playlist of. Dance music or something. Yeah. What does that have to do with? Zoom? It misheard me. Okay, uh, so absolutely Re-Sold- nothing. Resoldier episode twelve. I actually really enjoyed this episode a lot. I thought it Same. was good. It was kind of funny. Your amigo was adorable and the be- <laughs> beginning no. of a little because because Melt's my least favorite of the Resoldiers and, and he got shit on this whole episode. And I fucking loved it. It was that kind was of not, funny. That was not really fair. the be- the beginning with the uh, Creon and Wiseru where uh, like Cre. Uh, Creon stopped laughing, maybe because uh, uh, Tang Zhou was always okay. getting mad at him for laughing, and why they're just like, you can laugh, it's okay, buddy, we're friends. I, I was, you know what? No, <laughs> that's that's actually what I wanted to get into. I have to say, I think one of the reasons to just keep watching Ryu Soldier is for the villains. Yeah. Like, Cray- like Crayon and Tang Zhou, fucking awesome, and now Crayon and Wizeru. Like, I love that just, like, each of them are, like, different, and just Crayon is, like, unsure how to, like, act with, with the both of them because like <laughs> he had such a bad experience with Tank Joe he was worried that with Wiser it was gonna be the same thing Wiser was like no laugh it's it's fine I like when you do that just smash yes. no, don't don't take credit for my <clears throat> fucking plans or I'll fucking stab you just smash his whiteboard laugh I look like performer pal laugh maker you can laugh that's I'm a, okay with that that's a Jack Septic also group. fucking guys are just saying entertainment I was just like oh, 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 oh my god spoiler guys are gonna pierce Oh yeah, guys, Zorg's in the show for fucking fifteen seconds. He was and they cool. fought a bit. Okay, that was cool. I like his design. No, guys, Zorg looks great. I love, I like he, he, I love, I love his nickname, the Wandering Armor. There oh, was, yeah. there was some nice, nice uh, crayon. I love it. The crayons just like, the crayons just like, that's so fucking cool, but not as cool as your, your name, Wizerusama. Yeah. Just, hmm. when, do you think they're ever gonna make a crayon anything? I hope they make a crayon plushie. Yeah, if the, if the he needs a plushie. Yeah. Make no, make a plushie and then make a plushie of all the generals. They should make a crayon crayon. Crayon soap dispenser. You push his belly and then soap comes out his head. Yeah, just he dispenses green blobs of soap. <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is I can almost imagine that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, people have made like a like a nose soap dispenser. I, I like the nose soap dispenser. So now we have the typical generic episode where the main fucking Zord is jealous of the new one. And is now, that a theme? But, but, I feel like this is. But but, but Tier Migo was fucking whole adorable because he's he like just munches. He, he, no, but he line. asks like he tries to ask them a question. It's like, what Please, does everyone need? What to, do to people eat? eat? Food. Food. Uh, uh, you are correct. Oh, <laughs> I am defeated. He's like apparently he's like, Melt has right. legs made of fucking steel because he survived getting bitten by Tiramigo. Right? Yeah. Right. Jesus Christ! Like it's a shrunk it's down like, sword that's still fucking got, powerful. Well, they are like there's a little, pain, there's a little pain in my leg. A little, a little pinging. It seems like I'm getting bitten by a mosquito. Just look down oh, with the T-Rex. No leg. Just look down. Oh, see by the T-Rex. No. Ah! Just, just the oh, don't worry. Soul. It'll grow back. The leg soul. Like, oh, she so. Ah, <laughs> His legs gone. It's like eh, it'll grow back. I'll be fine. No, they use the Yaku saw to just reverse the damage. I can almost, I get almost imagine that actually happening. Uh, B- Bamba also Bamba realizes that uh, Bamba realizes like about because uh, like Toe is like oh see now you knew, like or Melt's like oh see now you see like Ko- Ko's such a nice guy and Bamba's just like. No, he's just really naive. Yeah, isn't that like the same as like it's like you mean he's kind? Yeah, same thing. <laughs> like, I love Bombas. Just been so fucking just. I just remembered so. when he when he was when um, they were going to take care of the guy when they found finally found the parent of the of, of the freaking. Minosaur, I forgot, forgot the name. It's like um, when they were going to go pick him up. Uh, Bamba, Bamba went first, and I just like we need to take care of him. Got it. He's like he's about to go stab him. Draw like, no, yeah, he Bamba. draws his sword when he's about to go off a toe, and I'm like, no, Bamba, I, don't stab. I take care of problem. I take care of problem. It's <laughs> just, like, just like when they're, when they're talking about Ko, Bamba's just like there are only people who will and will not be stabbed by Bamba. 
<laughs> Sorry, I've been watching a lot of uh, yeah. the Game Grumps Devil Third playthrough. Same. Am I the only one who was kind of. Everywhere is bathroom for Bomba. Weirdly reminded of Scooby Doo by Tira Vigo in this episode. Tira! Tira Tira Vigo! Like his voice sounds sort of like Scooby Doo. Right, bro. Yeah, like I can imagine him saying that. No, what threw me off is when he, like. Would you do it for a Tira snack? No. Would you do it for a Reusel? What threw me off was when, like, fucking Ko just when I was, like, giving him, like, the inspiration speech, just being like, you're fucking number one Zord, all right? And then and he then... actually just went, like, Chiragigo! And I'm like, oh, he can see the full name. Oh, good, there. he's a Pokemon. <laughs> and when Ko was like, you're, you're number one, and my brain just went, because baby, now you feel like number one. And I'm going to stop before we get caught. Ichiba! <laughs> no, yeah. they're going to make that clip. Oh yeah, by the way, someone mentioned last week that when we were playing the fucking Zeo opening that we would get demonetized. Joke's on you! We don't have enough subscribers to be monetized in the first place! <laughs> I got an ad on one of your videos today. Joke's on you, we're already on the third apocalypse. Yeah. I got an ad on one of your videos today, though. Cool. Which means you should be nice. ads Oh, there, wait, right? what? I don't think so. It was on Ipsy Studios. I don't get ads, because I, I, I... I'll check right to now! Premium. It was, a, it. it was a car commercial. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Go back, go back, go back, go back to Google. Go back what? to Google. So I love everyone's going on about basketball right now, but Google decided, no, soccer! It's the, Soccer's it's, where it's, it's at. Because it's the Women's World Cup. Everybody's legs are so terrifying. Yeah. Anyways, I'm checking the Cast Ranger channel right now to see if we oh have my God. monetization. Anyways. So, so giant ooey... <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, giant Ui with, but, no, and I love this coast just like walking back and forth in this fucking Megazord just going like, it's not Ui, that's not yeah, Ui, that's not Ui, that's not Ui. I can't hit her. And then, and then it then turns into Asuna, which it was just like, that's not me, Ko. And then it turns into Mel, and just before Mel can even say Ko, it's just immediately got him. him. And you just see him just like, <laughs> oh. just kneel on the ground going, he, he, he slashed him before I could even tell him that that wasn't me. And I'm just fucking laughing, going like, oh, Mel. And then later on... Nobody Co loves no, you! No. And then Ko just went up to him and said... <clears throat> He's like, no, I, I slashed because I knew by the third time that it was an act, it was an illusion and it wasn't Wait, you. The end, I don't hate you, I'm just fucking stupid. I, I, don't, I don't hate you, I just didn't want to hit the girls I potentially have a chance with. Like, here's the thing, like, why Zeru says when they start doing the fucking illusion of the female demon volcano that like, males oh, are- Oh, no, that was that stupid. That was straight up Looney Tunes, okay, it's interesting. I, I do want to say, I want to say something about Bye, the dinosaurs. Well, before the dinosaurs. Sorry. I, I just want to say real quick, like Wiseru's plan is really fucked up, especially for something in this day and age, because he just makes the general umbrella assumption that all males are weak to females. Does does Wiseru not know about homosexuals? Well, I think that he knows that. Are there no gay monsters? <laughs> Who ever heard of a gay dinosaur? <laughs> That's a rabbit hole. I don't think we I should go down. The funniest <laughs> thing about that, and th I'm, I'm just going to leave it on like two sentences because I think it's funnier without context. Me and my mom had a long conversation yesterday about dinosaur penises. We, <laughs> so, I just remembered, we, on my way home, we were, like my family, from a vacation, me and my family were looking at just like random stuff on the internet, and we drove past a sign or something, and it was like, God hates dinosaurs. We were like, wait, what? And there was a link. We went to the link, and it was just like, the dinosaurs weren't wiped out for a meteor. They were wiped out because they all were gay? <laughs> Don't ask me. God just scooped them all up in his one hand and just hucked them into space. So but now um, we have a wait a minute, are you suggesting there are gay dinosaurs in space now? I mean, <laughs> dinosaur laser fight tells us such. I'm gonna, I'm gonna On mention a spaceship. right now that we here at Radio Sentai Cast Ranger accept everyone, uh, no matter who you decide you feel you are or who you love. It doesn't matter. Absolutely, and that here at Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, Happy Ranger are 100 for yeah. gay dinosaurs. No, absolutely, and that's why it was so weird, especially for something during Pride Month. To have, like, the villain specifically point out that all males are weak to females. Mwahaha. I'm like, that's um, kind of an old mindset, but you're a villain from space, so whatever. Uh, so we but, found uh, out the guy, the guy the Minotaur came from. It was this 
like guy who's trained to be a firefighter, but then Ui mentions, yep. oh yeah, he was like my like he was a year under me in high school, and he always wanted to be a movie director, and his father was a firefighter, so so clearly yeah, living that, up to daddy's expectations. My sources have constantly made me with their ruling have constantly made me go, yeah, that makes sense. Wait, what? <laughs> because it's just like, oh, they got a firefighter to make him fight because they wanted to make this this. Yeah, so. so what- so okay. What he was a so firefighter who wanted to be a director he, so he can project smoke. Yeah. So the so Sheena the human, it was someone who wanted to be a movie director but was training to be a firefighter to make his dad proud, I guess, and that's why the monsters, the monster, the minosaur spawned with the predict with the abilities of projecting images like a movie director and also hating fire because he didn't really want to be a firefighter. No, because he like, looked like, fucking exhausted after his training. Like, so. um, so, I mean, it also could have been the fact that he's literally having the life sucked out of him. I don't know why, but like, also I, wanted that. The, I wanted like the, the, the drill instructor. I, I just wanted him to be played by Keichiro's actor. Cause that would right? That would have been crazy. hilarious. Ah! <laughs> Alternate universe. I miss Keichiro so goddamn much. Can't wait for that. I don't. Game. I know you don't place. <laughs> I, um, I made a did a huge talk about this in the community section. He's, it seems like he like to me. It just seems like he's a huge effing egotist. Yeah, uh, I I still think he's the best character. Sure, he had some flaws, but every good character has a flaw too. It's true. Yeah, um, every character goes that by the end of the series is right back to where they started in the first episode. Oh yeah, we got Kishiro Demi Volcano, and it was it's it's cool. What's funny is no, like, it's not. I noticed on the chest or whatever like that, like like the head gets smaller. But if, I bet if you look at the toy, it's like probably like really fucking protruding. So um, the, the form was the the Megazord form is all right. It's all right. The shoulder My, cannons are mil, cool. Mill needle is still the best one. So yeah, I found it kind of funny when he was going to do the uh, the shoulder cannon. See, this like slightly bent forward. I like the Tiramigo. Like I like the Tiramigo uses fucking shoulder cannons. That was awesome, right? Was like, no, 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 I like, I like it too. No, I liked it too, but I found it hilarious when Ko just had just like slightly leaned forward with his arms to his side. What 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 I, what I noticed that was interesting is like they they deal with the smoke for so long and do nothing about it, and then Toa comes in and uses the Moari saw and just Beyblades all the fucking illusions away, and mm. later on in that episode, fucking Melt remembers. Oh look, I have the Kawaki saw specifically for drying out moisture to get rid of all the smoke. Why the fuck didn't I use it earlier? Who the fuck knows? Maybe he forgot. Well, they thought they thought it was smoke. They didn't know it was steam. Just so many souls. That just made me think of it's not smoke, it's steam from the steamed clams we're having. The world can be saved by steam. Mm, steam and, but um, and then they did something that I thought was that uh, I that I know, knew before. It was really cool. Um, they then like use a bunch of fire to heat up the the surrounding area. And there, and I thought it was cool because uh, if you know about steam, so if you know that um, this, like, if you're boiling a pot of water, the steam is hotter than the fire below it, hmm. or the water, for that matter. So yeah, so heating up the steam that was already hot. So like the episode ends with just Yui like waking up as her friend or whatever like that, and then she's just like, "Oh, go be a movie director. Stop doing what you're fucking doing. Go achieve your dreams." And he's like. Uh, okay. All right, and then fucking you, Ui's dad just comes in and it's like, hey, what the fuck's going on here? Uh, he, I'm not he ready wa- to give him my daughter the yet. Of he, your wa- he walks into a scene from a shoujo anime. Yeah, but it was really funny where he's just like, I'm not ready to fucking t- get my daughter away. I'm not ready for my daughter to be fucking. <laughs> and don't... <laughs> yeah, to fuck my wife, the prick, you prick. <laughs> um, now I'm started. If I could trace back to the number one time I got started, <laughs> that would definitely it would be definitely really fuck my life. Also, also, just fucking wise rude. Just this entire episode, like when he did, like when he was like extending, like doing an extension of like sh- saying Showtime. It was like Show Showtime. Showtime. <laughs> just like it, and I just saw like he waggles his fucking like visor, and you can see his eyes under there. Yeah, and I was like, oh <laughs> I was like, this I love this guy this so much. I really hilarious. don't want him to disappear. I really like. I love yeah, I how he keeps four more episodes stops. <laughs> I, I say I say he dies with the debut of um, Riso Gold's yeah, gonna Riso Gold. come probably. Riso Gold's gonna come or I, guys I'm, are... looking, I'm looking forward to. I, I just know. I love uh, his reintroduction to the uh, Creon because he keeps taking. Because well, he may have come up with the ideas for everything. He takes credit for all the the minosaurs, and then the Creon's just like, you know, you didn't fucking do shit. If it wasn't for me, you'd be fucking shit out of luck. 
<laughs> yeah, I like that they actually established that like, Dysorg was the one who released Demon Volcano. I, I, yep. I can't, hope we get a general scene that like that is very like uh, like accepting of Creon. And like yeah. like you know very not, very 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 nice to him. Yeah, he he we're gonna get, get, get a this work. We're gonna get a female one, and female ones is good. Then Crown's either super fucking adorable as hell or just repulsive. Uh, I was gonna say I super Crown. <laughs> Crown deserves a good parent. We could get we could get two. <laughs> Emily volunteers. <laughs> Wait, did, why did I do that? Like it's stinky. Just raise your hand. <laughs> I'll be crayon is, parent. Crayon is crayon is best boy. But he wouldn't be able to make any minosaurs because I wouldn't let him hurt people. <laughs> we need somebody, to somebody do somebody do fan fan art of crayon as Wulu. <laughs> we need. To, oh my god, Wulu crayon. We, we need to help crayon evolve into his next form, marker. Yo, I'm looking forward to the day we get to or so pencil crayon. I'm looking forward to the day we get to Mark episode Wulu. episode Wulu. Episode, oh yeah, Cast like Ranger Wulu's, 900 something. Yeah. Cast Ca- Ranger episode 1000. Episode Wulu. I'm not the new general, no. I Probably if I were in the situation like being honest and not idealist, probably what would happen is we would be- befriend each other and then eventually a be- bigger general would come along and just kill me. Aww. <laughs> like, except if, if I were a general, then that means when I died I would actually explode for no reason. So that's kind of neat. Like I would, we all explode for no reason. I would get like punched, <laughs> I would get like punched it's a natural in the part face of growing and up. explode like a car in a movie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, every, every boy had that time in his life where he explodes for no reason. <laughs> like a car in a movie. So you may find the parts of your body are exploding. Oh yes, I uh, we well, this is one of our new fans, uh, Kalora. I'm just gonna call. Welcome to the live show. Hello, Kalora. Hello. So, Hi. Uh, Yes, I, I talked to them earlier today, and they're very nice. Yep. They're gonna make yes. uh, they're gonna uh, Clara is gonna make a a uh, Sentai shipping tier list, which oh, I'm actually okay. very That's a little bit um a little eh. Ulti, okay. I'll call you Ulti then. Mm-hmm. I like that. Sh- shipping is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't like shipping. Don't like King and Ami shipping. number one. Uh, so next week, the Prime Minister of Japan's and. Uh, or something. The Prime know. Minister of Japan is a Ryu Soulsman. Ryu she Soulsman? is somehow. Yeah. She is immortal. And Sorg will finally do a thing, probably. Can you do a Guys pin caster? Will... Can you do a pin caster fanfic? <laughs> to what be would honest, it be about, I, would, I, would, I would. I would. read that. I don't know. I was gonna say they. Ha- they haven't been on the server very long, so they don't know you too well. <laughs> it's just Lane going through a hospital, cutting people well, in half with an axe, and have magically healing them. Forty-five episodes that they can go through to learn all about me. <laughs> yeah, so, there you go. Uh, Two hundred forty-six. You got to uh, plus the extras, plus Enter the Amazon. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. All those. The idea plus of Ultra Ranger. Cast Ranger one is kind of interesting. <laughs> Down the lane. Down the. Oh God. Um. Okay. So now on to our feature topic. Booty. All right, well, before we start this, um, I just need to go somewhere. I'll be right back. Okay. Um, I'm just... Uh, Lane, are you, Lane, are you going to go get your favorite drink? Are you okay? Uh, yeah, so I'm really, I'm really thirsty. I just, I need, I need a nice, nice cold bottle of a fucking Crystal Pepler. I mean, just, like, <laughs> it, it's so refreshing, so good. Okay. My big question is, was that on purpose? It had to have been, right? <laughs> no, it's because his name is, is... The actor's name is Chris Pepler. So as soon as I heard that he was a character in this special called Crystal Pepler... Professor Crystal Pepler! I was like, I was like, okay. I went down to fucking Food Basics, grabbed a couple bottles of Crystal Pepsi, and then it just dawned on me when I was walking back, like... I need someone to fucking shop this. So I got, um, so, uh, I don't know, I hope you'll listen to this, but, uh, to Grand King, he's, like, in our Cast Ranger community, our he, he photoshopped this. So that is gonna be our thumbnail, and just the name of the episode is gonna be Crystal Pep, Crystal Pepler. Okay. Like, I, he, I love it, he actually shopped, like, the font properly, and then he replaced the Pepsi logo with just Chris Pepler's face. He did it perfectly. 
<laughs> so, like, I've just been waiting all fucking oh day God. to fucking you share this. You specifically told me to avoid the general Well, that's Discord the great chat. thing. Once I had the image, David just deleted the fucking thread of, like, the conversation. Oh, oh so that you was have the to do that. Uh, but anyways, I just... Crystal... <laughs> That is just, wow. Is that is that a contender for greatest name in Toku? I don't know, man. Yeah. Because like I thought it was just gonna be like Krim Steinbelt or something, like, oh I'm a copy of Krim Steinbelt. and then he's just like, no, my name's Professor Crystal Pepler. And I'm like, Crystal Pepler! I actually had to pause the episode and laugh for a solid five minutes. But yeah, so there he goes. Name. So we have we have Crystal fucking Pepler. <laughs> I didn't I didn't read it as I, when I first read it, I just read it as Chris Pepler. No, it's Crystal Pepler. So, like, now that I know it's Crystal Pepler, it's like, the, oh my god. The Common Rider Brain two-part special is the perfect epitome of what I love about Tokusatsu. I was thinking... Oh, it was fantastic. Again, it was basically the perfect... Co- I'm sorry, am I being... No, go ahead. Sorry. No, 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 go ahead. The, the, the perfect combination of, of, of funny, of self-aware... Of actual draw, like serious drama and like thought provoking stuff. Action. And action. It was all of it. Like little details, like that's not even your weapon, that's a recall. <laughs> like, if you, if you go back and listen to the Cast Ranger FAQ special we did on our last anniversary. And I love Brain, I want to watch Drive now. I specifically mentioned that what I loved most about Kamen Rider was the juxtaposition between the awesomeness of the, of the fighting and the story. And the hilarity and the comedy and the and the jokes and this is the crystallization the, of, the crystal peplin of of that ideal and I fucking love this. Um, so uh, part one starts with a quick flashback and recap of the end of the Common Rider Heart movie. Yeah, so I like, haven't seen that, so that was a little. So, so in the heart movie, at the end, just brains like, oh, maybe next time I'll come back, I'll be Kamen Rider Brain, <laughs> and then just <laughs> and then just cuts to him. I was fucking kidding. Yeah, like, <laughs> can I just say, Brain throughout this entire fucking thing was just fantastic, like just on point. Whoever plays him, like fucking bravo to your fucking to him. Jesus Christ, he was so good. Oh. Oh. Can I just saw something. I screwed that up. The, can I just say the little, the very little I know about Precure? Can I just say that now that I think about it? Crystal Pepler sounds like what a Precure to me. <laughs> Cure Crystal Pepler. Pepler. I'm surprised there hasn't been. A, honestly, I can imagine a character named Crystal. In some of the more recent episodes of um, Star Trek, there was a character who was J.J. Abrams. <laughs> like, <laughs> He was named, like, G.G. Abraham or something, but he was J.J. Abrams. Wow. And then the twist was that he's actually an alien in a humanoid robot suit, like the oh, okay. uh, guy from the first Men of Black. So... So Brain wakes up on a table, and it's just straight up anime. fucking shocker. And he just screams, like, it was yeah. fucking hilarious. And he, and, like, he's being, in, like, basically interrogated by, oddly enough, the villain, like, the monster form of the villain from... Uh, Cho Super Tyson. Yeah, all right, let's all right. Let's run down this rogues gallery of who he wakes up. So f- there's a Gamma Superior, but it's not clear if it's like Javert or Gyro or or someone. Or, I forgot his name. Uh, uh, Igor. There's um. No, Igor had the hood. There's, yeah. there's the there's cancer. Graphite. There's the cancer Zodiarts. Uh, there's graphite. the o- the Ogomo Great Leader, the villain from Cho Super Tyson, and then Demushu Gremlin, and specifically Gurin Graphite. So, interesting selection. Yeah. Um, and Brain proceeds to call them bargain bin villains. <laughs> so, yeah, so he gets captured by the organization Moo, which, like, in, like, Brain just goes like, oh, so you guys are nothing? Because like, it's from the Japanese word Moo, which means yeah, nothing. Yeah, like the villain... There's also a triangle on a box. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, the, the leader of Moo is just, like, this just, like, talking emblem. We revived you because we needed a smart one, because we're all morons. And like they're like, yeah, you have like an IQ of six hundred, and it's like, oh. And then like later on, like fucking Crystal Pepler just says, oh no no, no. you have six hundred gigabytes. No, wasn't it megabytes? No, it no, was gigabytes. gigabytes. And he was like, oh, okay. are you fucking kidding? Hard drives today have a terabyte, and I don't even have that much. Like, cause you gotta remember, like Brain's a fucking robot. Right. He's a fucking he's a roid beard in the end. And so, oh. so he promptly goes, "Fuck you! I'm loyal to heart." And we're like, and they're like, "Well, we'll just delete your memories, just like Shocker did." Yeah, 
And so... And no, like, please! As, yeah, as he's, as he's fucking, like, getting, like, about to get, like, taken, or, like, uh, worked on, he's just like, he's like, this is fucking Hayes! Hey, the Hayes here! Let's show up! Ah! He's just, like, fucking making me so self-aware. Hayes is about to end! This isn't even, this isn't show up. Hayes here is about to end. What the fuck are you doing? Remember how they used to always do science experiments on the Kamen Riders? And yeah, the it's, it's like he was dead. almost shot-for-shot shot reference to fucking Ichigo. Yeah. If he was uh, dead this whole time, how did he know the Heisei area was about to end? Because he's swarming through the data sphere. Who knows? So, so he gets rescued by Professor Crystal Pepler, played by Chris Pepler. And I, I you know what? I'm happy they got him back for just right? this little minor role. I just love seeing him in his human form doing anything, regardless of context, because I'm so used to just him being a fucking belt. Yeah. Plus, that man has the most suave voice of anyone in Ryder. Uh, I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm so happy I was able to make that fucking joke. So, so good. Yeah, so same. So worth it. That was the best. <laughs> and uh, while Brain is searching around for his handkerchief, he apparently shits out a Bono driver out of nowhere. Yeah! <laughs> like, what the fuck? So he uh, a Bono it. driver... A- if you look closely in the second episode, you can see like it does have the red belt strap, but they I guess they couldn't uh, get they didn't they weren't they didn't paint the, the that part of the belt like the drive part of the belt. So you can clearly see the belt itself is black, but the part hanging off the edge is gray. Yeah. Mm. Um. And I'll see if I can get a picture. So like they're fighting or whatever like that or like you know they have uh, him and uh, Pepler have like a moment or whatever like that where it's like it, it's pretty it's kind of like oh, what's the word. Like organic, like they have like a really like fun moment with each other. And it's just really funny because like the whole like memory thing. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, he confronts all the monsters, turns into his golden evolution which form. I'm glad they kept that, right? Because it's like he achieved his evolution, so it's like you know if he's going to, he's going to be. That, it sticks. It's permanent. Yeah, it's going to be stick. It's going to stick. So he falls off a building, but then he comes back and he's henching into Colorado Brain, which I wasn't expecting. I like, was kind of worried. I thought it, it wasn't going to happen until part two. I'm surprised they decided to fucking cock tease us by not showing us the henching right away. Yeah, here's here's the picture. I found it. You can see that it's that it has that's a banner driver, but it has the drive driver belt strap. Oh yeah. Oh, that's funny. Um. So he proceeds to whoop everyone's ass, including neck snapping Gremlin like yeah. Kai, straight up Kaiser style. Yep. And then he just has the bike. He just jumps back down to street level, and there's just a fucking repainted version of the ride chaser. Yeah, the ride brainer. Um, yeah. It has a brain on the front. It does have a brain on the front, so I, I like that they, like, reworked it a bit. And he drives off into the logo. The logo's awesome. You yeah. You see a little, a little itty bitty drive logo. Yeah. Drive saga. And that's episode one. And episode two starts with Brain trying to hench in again. He can't. It's fucking hilarious. He does like five different poses and they get stupider and stupider. Go, Web, go! And uh, that's when... Reminded me of that, uh, that scene from Spider-Man. Professor Pepler reveals the unfortunate truth that, yeah, I was betraying them. I chose to revive you because you suck ass. Yeah. You are the weakest general of all yeah, time. Yeah, they wouldn't expect anything, and it wouldn't it wouldn't help them at all to have someone that weak on their team. That yeah. was really mean. That was really was like <laughs> I came to that realization too. Like when he said that, I was like, I was like, yeah, I guess Brain is like the the worst fucking general writer. I don't know. There has to be someone worse. I'm sure there's someone there worse. Has to be someone worse. Yo, know, actually, <laughs> yeah, Igor. Yeah, Igor sucked. <laughs> He was badass. He like he was like brain. He was badass in the beginning, and then just by the end, you just couldn't take him fuck seriously anymore. If, but like, if you out there listening have a thought on who might be worse than brain, post in the comments. Yeah, my vote. My Phoenix because currently he's in the sun. I mean, eventually he's gonna just be so powerful. He's gonna explode the fucking. Sun I w- and come I was down. so sad that like I was really happy that like with the Hasty Generation Forever's plot, but I was really I really wanted it to be that like fucking Phoenix finally gets out of the sun. And is just about to kill everyone. Right? <clears throat> Wizard ten years later. Um, so then, oh, wait, uh, wait, look at that. No, it wasn't that computers have a terabyte. It was DVD players have a terabyte. <laughs> He's less advanced than a DVD player. So then, uh, like, <laughs> this fucking brain, like, goes from, like, laughing hysterically about... He goes right into crying. Yeah, he just starts crying. And he feels so bad. He's like, why? I just suck ass. And just like... <laughs> uh, Pepler gets tentacled off screen by Ogumo. Uh, and when Brain catches up to him, whoops, he's been stabbed. 
Yeah, like, and then hard. I wasn't oh, expecting no. that. And then he dies. And Whoops, it looks like really more sad. like Professor Deadler. But yeah, so we get we get some we get some <laughs> evil riders. So now we have Dark Ghost, Poseidon, uh, White, White Wizard. Wizard, and Dark Kiva, and another Paradox and Duke. And yeah. I counted up the the numbers, <clears throat> and it looks like that's one more than the villains we had in the last episode. So either these are different people, or they added one to the ranks, or well, they're I mean, soulless what bodies. Them have their neck snap. So I mean, yeah. Um, uh, and then. It's quite an assemblage of dark riders. Yeah. Yeah, especially one of them since he was arrested for assaulting a woman. Yeah. Uh, and then Ogumo quotes Bono a little bit, and that's when Professor Pepler reveals in his dying breath that, I also picked you because I know you would hate these guys and want to murder their faces. And then, like, he's able to take, like, Pepler's uh, handkerchief from his jacket before he, uh... <laughs> I just love that, like, you're not gonna use this, I'll just take this back now. Oh, thanks. I hope you didn't leave this to your son in your will. <laughs> uh, Diet um, Pepler. So... <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, he does, he has a flashback to the five minutes he spent with him, it's like two shots. Yeah. <laughs> All Pepler's of our zero. magical adventures together. Uh... And then he oh, just pulls... And then he just poofs into dust. Yeah, it was really sad. Um, so then just... Why did that... that happen, though? Why does... I mean, a lot of Toku characters... Because we turn, can't pay him to lie around dead. Turn into, into like... Because Zia was later. fucking with the time stream again, alright? Fucking why not at this point? So... Th it wasn't real anyways, <laughs> as we find out later. Zia so then... went back in time to get a BJ from Cleopatra. <laughs> so then Brain... Brain just like... Why would he do that? He has soup! So then, like, Brain just, like, cleans his glasses, oh, and he just no. puts them back on, he's just like, you can shut the fuck up now, and they're like, whoa, whoa what? And then he's just like, you have angered me very much, snip. And then, so then, Unacceptable! So he put, oh my god, he's lemon fucking brown. lemon brown. Lemon Brain. Lemon Brain. <laughs> See, if I didn't make the if I didn't make the crystal pepler fucking, like, got the that image made, like, we would have had Stop that. Stop fiddling with now. your toys, please. Don't tell me what to do! Play, play Sukun, listen to your senpai. Don't play Sukun. I, 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 I was a senpai, and then I graduated. After, after the show. <laughs> Why did that sound so sensual? Um, I think it was the point. So then he puts on the he puts on the belt, and then he, like, pushes up his glasses, goes, Henshin, and then he transforms. I love that. He, his, like, Henshin posters just, like, tap his brain. So, so it's, brain, the coming lighter. Because hartles are coming lighter. Yeah. So it makes sense. Yep. I'm kind of sad there isn't, like, a brain shift car, you know? Yeah. Shift brain tron? Shift brain. Um, no, it would be shift brain tron, looking, because shift heart tron. Um, looking at, uh, because I have the episode actually, pull, part two actually pulled up right now, looking at it, um, brain is, like, just talking about, like, basically looking at, like, mooks and everything and saying, talking about mooks, it's like, you people who just see them as numbers are, unex are, un are unexcusable, like, it's like, the heart, the, the heart. No matter who you were, you were. You meant something. Yeah. Which, which a, I mean, which yeah. Great. It's it's one of the. It's I like. I really like Drive like for that. Looking at looking back because the heart did just kind of want to live in peace. Yeah. But he wanted to do that through fear. Yeah. So we get to see the actual comrade brain Henshin, and let's talk about the suit design now. It's fucking amazing. Oh, it's a fucking great suit. I give this, like, yeah. if I had to put a number on it, I would say 9 out of 10. And I'll say for the same reason I did when we were talking about the figure art. I think this suit design would have been perfect if they changed one thing. The eyes, I think, should have been Kamen Rider Chaser's eyes. And then have a little line between them to make them look like glasses. Mm. I think that would have looked way better for Brain instead of Drive's eyes. Well, drive, like, a, drive's eyes look more like like generic like sunglasses that are like reflective sunglasses. I just like he has the three separated capes that uh, resemble on his roid mean form. Right? It's fucking gorgeous. Yeah, the so design of Kamen Rider Brain is really awesome. And I love it. Yeah. He has he has Rider poison hands. He, he has nine hundred ninety nine kind of, different toxins. That in was his kind body. of poison handkerchief. That's, that's because disgusting. in his monster form, he also had toxins. Yeah, but like he just. He just takes his hands up and they're just dripping viscous <laughs> liquid. I'm gonna drip on you! <laughs> How did my hands get this wet? So then he, he, he summons the uh, Magane blade. 
Oh my god, it's, it's a fucking glass, repaint of sunglass Ghost slasher. Sunglass Slasher. And even Dark Ghost goes, it's not even your actual weapon, it's just a repaint. Yeah, and I love how Shut it was, up! How was Dark Ghost We have had three episode. different versions of the Sunglass Slasher, and I love all of them. So then, yeah, he just can... So then he, like, fakes them out with a fucking rider kick and does the brain head crusher because <laughs> it makes sense, so he uses his head. Kick Janai! Yeah. And he's like, that was a fucking head fight, you dumb, you fucking tool. That's because my brain is my greatest weapon. Yeah, yeah, he's like, he's like I'm smart. <laughs> I'm like you. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> like nerd. We were just in nerd class together. I didn't get just rich. I didn't get just rich by. Uh, Isn't it unfortunate that my parents <laughs> named me Dinkles? <laughs> it's unfortunate that my creator named me Brain. <laughs> I'm already nerdy enough. So then he rides off back to the lab. And then the, the, the faceless leader of Moo is just like, You will work for me, damn it! I'm going to brainwash you! And then he wakes up and... Cyber heaven? It was a dream? Yeah, it was I a dream I... all along! <laughs> Fuck! I didn't get what was going on there. Was yeah, it a dream? It was, it a, was dream. a dream by someone who was already dead and floating through... Yeah. What I can only so, call cyber heaven. So, so we see Heart and Medic and... Well, no, they're being stored. I think... I think their cars like, like, like vanished into nothingness at the end of Comrade Art. Did they? They they, they, well, they turned into dust. Like I think maybe their data or something was still somewhat around. And so looking you, at that, you know what it, it is? Fifty percent. There was like fifty percent of brain. So this is what brain dreamed up when he wasn't all there. You know what it is? I know exactly what's happening here. Mm. Remember at the end of season one of Digimon Adventure when Apocalypse broke them all down into data, and they went to, like, some white place because they were being processed as yeah. data. That's they all they became common out of brain. So we see Heart and Medic, and, like, it's fucking hilarious. So, like, it, like, he, they he, fast forward through him explaining <laughs> to Heart what happened, Heart and Medic what happened. And, and Heart's just like, up and, it's and Heart's going. just like, Heart's just like, I don't follow you. And Medic's just like, yeah, something's wrong with you. And she, like, checks Time him for and check checks his fever and stuff. No, no, no. And, like, it gets better, it gets better. And then I'm like, brain head crusher! <laughs> like, oh my god, brain's actor's so fucking good. And so, like, they're like, okay, that they're like, the heart's just like, that's, that's nice. That's nice, buddy. Good job. You do, so you. Then, so it cuts back out, like, uh, into, like, a percentage meter, and, like, we see, like, Chase is at, like, like four to five percent. So, like, Go's still trying to find a way to revive Chase, which, like, okay. I'm looking at it. Good for Chase him. Four. Chase is fluctuating between four, Heart's at 67, Brain's at 81, and Medic's at 56. <laughs> so, we also see in the background of this lab that there's a Roy Mute body with a drive driver on it. Yeah. So, maybe... More so, drive saga movies! Yeah, so apparently they show something called the Project Neo Core Drive Yards. Yeah, no, Drive Yards. I don't think that means. I'll explain it for people who haven't seen Drive, like Emily. Uh, the core drive ERs are the power source that Krim Steinbelt used to create all of the drive gear. Oh, oh so yeah. that is an actual thing and not just a misspelling yeah. of driver. No. Okay. I, looking at this, I don't know if this could be, if this is supposed to be, like, mo like now, or if this is could be, like, t a scene from the the movie, like, the, the heart, heart mock movie. All that matters now is, is this going to segue into the drive arc of Zeo, or is this going to segue into another drive movie? Uh, I, I don't care, either or. Give me, give me either or, I don't care. Why not both? Why not? But yeah, it just ends with Go waking up from his dream while the data is being collected and just walks off. Yeah, he's just like, Chase, stop it. I feel like he's having stop. sex dreams about Chase. No. <laughs> I mean, well, no, we. All, I mean, like, we, like we, the, we reviewed. It's like the audio drama. The, yeah, we reviewed the audio drama where he yeah, basically. It's like the audio drama when like, he goes on a date with Chase. Oh yeah, yeah. He, like, has like ice cream with uh or like milkshakes, pretty, pretty, and then they, ice cream. they have like a roll where they go on a roller coaster together. Here's the thing, though. <laughs> I feel like if he's trying to restore Chase, shouldn't Kano be part of this? Because he's the human he was based on. No. I want Kano, damn it! Because because Kano's. But not... he didn't copy Kano's emotions. Yeah, he only copies his. His form and Kano probably wouldn't be aware of what the fuck's going on. But Kano's likeness is still part of who Chase is. Well, maybe they have that backed up. I don't fucking know. Okay, I well, that's literally just his face. Find a picture of him on Facebook and you're good. <laughs> there you go. 
Uh, it's, it's like the fucking face recognition shit for it's, creating it's just memes. Him smiling. Just <laughs> they, just, they gotta go. They gotta. They gotta go up to him. They ask it's a bunch of personal questions and everything. It's like, all right, uh, the last question, most important: How big is your dick? <laughs> um, we need so, to make this as accurate as possible. So, anyways, Colorado Brain special, fucking fantastic. I wish it would have been more. Longer. It should have been a movie, like a whole movie on itself, like right? an hour long movie. I want more things like this from Common Rider. This was awesome. Yeah, no, and th- you know what? Because of this, Brain Colorado Brain has earned. The, the spot of being the last Heisei era writer. Absolutely. So good fucking job, Brain. You, you, see, like, beginning you were, su- at Drive, you were super cool, and then halfway through the show, we were kind of like, okay, you're silly, but then we accepted that for you being, uh, like, as who you were. Spo- spoilers for Drive, I'm sorry. You, he died in a super fucking awesome emotional way. And then he came back and just was, is now a badass Kamen Rider. Like, or, well, it was I, a dream, but like, who yeah. fuck cares? I call it canon, whatever. I, I would have loved a full brain movie. We could have met more professors like... Uh, I call it head canon. Coke, like, like, we, call, we could have met more professors like uh, Coco Cola. So are you saying that the uh, Crystal Pepler was a figment of brain's imagination? Yeah. So his mind came up with that name? Apparently. <laughs> Which means he has meta knowledge of the actors. Like it shows, like you know, like um, like the usual spoilers for like a really, really old movie. The Usual Suspects, where it shows that he came up with all the parts of his story by looking at things in the room. <laughs> like it shows it's a dream, and then it zooms out, and there's a bottle of Crystal Pepsi there. Okay, but yeah, what did you think? You haven't said too much. Well, I actually don't have that much context for this because so, I. Well, tell us what you thought, being someone who has not seen Drive. It definitely makes me want to see Drive. Um, Add it to the list! Yes, um, I thoroughly agree with what Ichi said, that it's a perfectly balanced little funny thing that it, that has also got cool action, it's got like an actual emotional arc despite how short it is. It It's good, and I didn't really need to know the characters too much, because they did a pretty good job of, of, of sort of explaining them. Yeah. But right. I do want to see more of Brain now. Right? That's uh, better at this point. Like, with, at this point, you, you guys should almost have, like, like a live stream where, like, you guys just, w- ha- like, have Emily watch, like, a bunch of shows that she hasn't watched yet. I mean, I I wouldn't be opposed to that idea. I'm just worried about us getting zapped for so it. So it's like Tamara hasn't watched the thing that... I mean, we could, I mean, you could just, like, not show the video and then just, like, say, like, time it or correctly. Or we could just say, do... We're starting this episode. We three, just, two, one, go. We could just do what we did with uh, the Tokyo charity stream and just have the video going but have it, like, filtered and flipped and tiny in the corner. There you go. I actually was thinking that we should do a thing where we just riff up something while it's actually playing. Yeah, we can do that. At some point. I don't if know you want to see us do something like that, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Join it to the Patreon. So anyways, all you go out there, enjoy a nice bottle of Crystal Pepler. I know I am. Oh my <laughs> I'll stick, god. Can I get, I'll stick with Diet Pepler. Can I Can I just get Sprite? <laughs> I guess so. Sprint? You have Sprint. <laughs> Terrible internet service? Uh, uh, no, uh, no, I'll get AT&T. Oh, even worse even internet worse. service? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's their main... That, that's our equivalent to Rogers and Bell here, so... Anyways, this has been Cast Ranger. Yeah, hope you all enjoyed that. Thank you yeah. to everyone who kept, like, the Crystal Pepler fucking picture a secret, so I'm so glad Actually, I was able to do that. <laughs> Actually, wait, I just remember. I'm just thinking about the intro again. Am I technically the king of Cast Ranger now? No, it was a bit. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I wanted to use the EYA song in some way. We'll use it when Zio's I'll, over. Yeah. I'll be the future I'll be the future king of Cast Ranger. Sure, why not? Just well, you don't, wait. Don't, in don't 20, worry, in 2068. Don't worry, I'll <laughs> in 20, in 2068, next, when I'm 68. The next the next episode will be uh next the uh, on a Friday at 9 p.m. Eastern <clears> time. So yeah. Unfortunately, we are going to be taking another break next week because I am taking a slight vacation. I'm going to YetiCon in Blue Mountain Resort. And, and as we awesome. know, I didn't even know about that. And as we know, if Ichi's not here, what the fuck are we gonna do? I mean, he's with, the leader of. I don't you guys did mean like a, a month, or, like last year, or the year before that. You guys did. But, 
But me and Gar are going to be recording a shit ton of fucking Ultra Ranger next week, so look out for a couple, maybe a couple episodes of May Ultra I ask Ranger. A question? Yes. Are we going to do the Rebirth of Mothra special? Of course, we're going to do the Mothra special. Are we actually going to do it? Yeah. Oh my god. Um, am I? Uh, can I? Can I beat the um, on the Mothra special? Yeah, absolutely. What? I'm sorry. This isn't like, for this show. I'm sorry. I like okay. kaiju's. I like kaiju's. We all like kaiju's. Anyways, so. That said, uh, so next week we're going to have a week off, and the week after will be a double episode special, but because that's going to be such a long time until the next feature topic, I will go ahead and tell you that the week after that, we will finally tackle Kamen Rider Heisei Generations Generations Forever! Forever. Finally, I can watch the movie. (laughs) The movie? No, I haven't watched it yet. It's forever, not finally. Yeah. Finally! This was was your finally. Heisei Generations Forever. KC Generation's final, my brain hurts. Right? <laughs> oh, I've gone cross-eyed. <laughs> well, Ichi, all you do is just go there and just enjoy yourself. That goes for you all, too. Sick Austin Powers joke. Thank you. So because I keep forgetting to do our fucking intro blurb at the, at the start of the episode, thank you all for listening. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, we are Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. We're a gaggle of Toronto-based nerds of varying calibers and token enthusiasts who assemble mostly every week over the last five years and, can, and counting uh, to talk about tokusatsu, Kamen Rider, Super Sentai, and whatever other topic we can fit in here. So if you like what you've heard, uh, please make sure to like the episode, favorite, give us some comments below, hashtag comments for Lane. Uh, and of course, check out our primary hub site for our hijinks uh, at castranger.podbean.com. Uh, where you can not only find our episodes, but uh, a discussion index where we list all the things we've talked about, uh, our Facebook and Twitter accounts, and our you can, Patreon. And you can join our Discord. Something. You can join our Discord and uh, talk to assholes like me. I was going to say cool people like you, but okay. I mean, I, 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 thank, I thank you for having that much faith in me, but I'm not... <laughs> I'm really not that cool. Oh. <laughs> I mean, That's my name is Blaze. If any, and my I'm, name is Blaze. I'm really not that cool. I am the master of the self-deprecatory humor. Thank I'm you. I am Mandarin. <laughs> I am the one who knocks. I'm the trash boy. I'm the one who trashes I'm self. I'm the one who pepplers. <laughs> I'm the trash man. That's what I was thinking. The 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 wrestler Danny DeVito thing. Yeah, trash. trash man. I am. The, I am the knight. All right. So, anyway, where's Cast Ranger? Uh, off next week because of vacation. Oh, yeah. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Cool. Ultra Ranger. Cool. So, thank you all for listening, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, and just being awesome people in general. Yeah. And we will see you in a couple weeks. Thank you for listening. Bye. Oh, it was Grand Decker. That was the name of. Him. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks to Grand Decker for making the uh, Crystal Pepler image. Thank you so much, Grand Decker. He did an amazing job. Thank you for watching. Check out Discord. Bye.